if you have heard the rumor that lemmings jump off of cliffs in mass, mass packs committing suicide. So, anyone else? Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Well, if you've heard it and believed it, it's false. I really, really hope you thought it was false. This makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> Alright, um, so this is a rumor created by Disney, actually. Uh, Henry Nichols, author of The Truth About Norwegian Lemmings from BBC in November of 2014, brought this fact to life. Disney had a documentary called White Wilderness, and in this documentary they staged a, um, they basically staged the lemmings jumping off of a cliff. It was extremely exaggerated, um, they sent it out everywhere, and now worldwide it is believed that lemmings jump off a cliff committing suicide. Everyone believes it, don't know why, it doesn't make sense. Is your mind a little blown? Because mine was on the fact that Disney would say something <laughs> false and make everyone believe it. Not really. <laughs> Anyways, on to things that are the truth, the Norwegian lemmy wants to kill you. I'm not joking. It actually wants to kill you. Um, <laughs> the Norwegian lemming is the only type of animal that I can think of that was cute and interesting enough to talk about. Um, also, I think it's just kind of cool learning about animals and stuff that wants to kill you when it can't. It's small it is. Mm -hmm. uh, just me, I don't know. Maybe. Um, so lemming is ferocious, and it stands out from all their lemmings in multiple ways. Uh, it is extremely ferocious. It has a very brightly colored coat compared to its uh, family members, like other bulls and lemmings. And both these uh, traits combine to form an evolutionary pattern similar to aposematism. I'll explain what aposematism is later. Mm -hmm. So the key characteristics of the lemming is it uh, screeches and lunges at any predator nearby. Most predators, uh, when they see an animal, they will attack it. And so, of course, bulls and lemmings, they all scurry away, they run, they hide. That is their natural instinct. However, the Norwegian lemming, they bring the predator closer. There's, they try to get its attention. They're like, hello, come over to me. Let me attack you. It's crazy. <laughs> um, Hannah Osborne, who published in February of 2015, Angry Norwegian Lemmings are the bravest of them all, by International Business Times, says these lemmings laugh in the face of danger. It's pretty much true, if they could laugh. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think they can laugh. <laughs> I've not seen that in any reports I've read. <laughs> so yeah, they screech and attack. Also, uh, they attack on sight. So if you're close enough and you didn't see them at first, I'm sorry, but you will probably... Yeah. <laughs> Elizabeth Preston, author of Little Lemming That Could, Bite Your Face Off, published by Discovery in February of 2015, uh, said that researchers had to take extreme safety precautions, extreme safety precautions while studying the lemming. Uh, they had to wear thick gloves, they had to stay a couple feet away at all times, and they also had like little sticks to like move them away, so it wouldn't like bite their arms. <laughs> yeah. Um, it doesn't have the anatomy of an attack animal, but it does have um, buck teeth and a very fiery passion. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever been bitten by a rabbit. Uh, I used to work with them, so I was bitten at least twice, and I have scars from them. Buck teeth really, really hurt. Um, so with one that actually wants to seriously hurt you, it can cause some serious damage. All right. So next we're going to discuss the coat. So uh, the lemming has a really bright colored coat, as you can see, compared to its uh, ancestors and other family members. They're all like a grayish brown, um, or like an orange color, brown. This one has multiple colors, um, very bright. So here's the illustration. It's only about four inches tall, four inches long, sorry. Um, but here's it in like HD, showing all the colors. It's black, yellow, white, brown. Uh, so this is a tactic to scare predators. And biologist Noel Anderson was quoted by Richard Gray in February of 2015 in his article, When Lemmings Attack, published by Mail Online. Mm -hmm. Malt said, distinctive contrast rich coloration, anti-predator calls, and threat post postures of the Norwegian lemming for my multiple normal suit of posematic traits, warning predators that it is more dangerous prey than smaller sympatric bulls. Um, so yeah, this lemming is extremely small. It's actually smaller than some of its other family members, and it's still the most ferocious. I don't know why. It evolved extremely, in the extreme opposite direction of everyone else in the family. So now I'll be discussing aposematism, which is the thing I was talking about earlier. 
And that's how the two, uh, the color coat and the behavior combine to form uh, a defense that's similar to posmatism, but it's argued that it might be, and that might not be a posmatic because it is not toxic. So a posmatism is a signal of, or a visual sign of conspicuous markings or bright colors on an animal to warn predators that it's toxic or distasteful. So you have a postman butterfly, coral snake, graduate poison frog. They all have something in common. They're extremely bright with bright red, yellows, blacks. Um, even we as humans, we don't go near these types of animals because when we see them, we're like, hey, that could probably hurt me. Let's not go near it unless you're crazy. <laughs> but, um, so predators think in the same uh, way. If they see something brightly colored, they don't want to eat it just because it's probably going to either taste foul, um, it's going to kill them, they're going to get hurt. So that's what the Norwegian lemming tries to do, except it is not toxic or it has any chemicals in its body in any way. So this is the only known uh, prey animal to do this, where it will actually try and scare predators instead of uh, having something about its body that actually hurt them. The only way it can, it can hurt them is by physically attacking them, which these animals usually don't do. They were, well, except for the snake, but it has poison in it. Um, <laughs> the Norwegian lemming has nothing in it that can actually hurt the predator if it eats it. So it's kind of like um, a front. It's bluffing. It's trying everything it can to make sure the predator knows that it's scary. So that was everything Other <laughs> about the lemming. It's actually extremely small. Um, so I'm just going to review from here. So the lemming evolved in the opposite direction, um, and it's ferocity and its coat colors, they all form to make a, a defense similar to aposematism. However, we don't know if it's actually aposematic because it is not toxic in any way. And in the definition of aposematism, uh, they discuss how to be aposematic, you have to be toxic or distasteful. So, I mean, something about it makes me say, oh, it's so cute, it's so fiery, it wants to kill me. But I'm guessing if I actually ran into one in the tundra, which I probably wouldn't, because your girl doesn't do cold. Like, even now, today, it's too cold for me. <laughs> nah. Um, but if I did happen to see it in the tundra, for whatever reason, I'd probably be screaming and running away.